Uh, Kathleen, I'm curious to get your take on this situation. Do you feel that schools should be revealing the information to the parents that if, the, if a student wants to identify a, as a different uh, gender? So, Jamie, my concern is that um, this policy could put children at risk. All right, guys. So this is a story that's coming out of Toronto currently. Um, if you're unfamiliar with who that woman just was, that was the former premier of Ontario, Kathleen Wynne, also the former minister of education, I believe. And CP24 decided to interview her on her position on this whole pronoun situation and whether parents should be involved with knowing whether their kids want to change their pronouns at school, uh, if the teacher should tell them, all that kind of stuff. And I figured we'd check it out together because it's a little questionable. PFLAG is responding to Education Minister Stephen Lecce's comments about student pronouns. Well, yesterday, Lecce says parents should be fully involved if their child wants to change their pronouns at school. It comes after a poll found that 43% believe parents should have to give consent if a child wants to change how they identify. Parents, friends and family of lesbians and gays says the child's rights should matter more. So right off the bat, I don't understand how Stephen Lecce's words are so controversial. Parents should be involved. Parents should get to know what's going on with their kids in the school. The fact that only 43% agreed that they should be giving consent to their children is kind of wild to me. I don't know how it's such a low number. But why are we giving the children so much autonomy and so much uh, freedom and responsibility when that's never been the case? Children need guidance. Children don't know what's good for them 99% of the time. So I don't understand how they're saying that this is going against the child's rights. They responded to Lecce's position in a statement that reads in part, any attempt to infringe upon the rights to self-determination and disclosure of LGBTQ2IA plus kids and their identities will be met with fierce opposition by our community and allies. It is a mistake to favor a parent's right to know over a queer kid's right to disclose. Well, that is what these policy changes will do. They pressure queer kids to come out to their parents and caregivers before they are ready. Well, for some, regardless of how small the number, this can be life-changing. It could even be life-threatening. Well, for more on this, we are joined by former education. And again, it's so wild that such a fringe minority of children, even though it seems like a very large portion right now, that's because, as we've seen with anorexia and emo-ness and this it's trends like people jump onto the bandwagons people think it's cool now like to be so different to be so individual i'm a cat now i'm a dog i'm a dragon i identify as this and that like i'm non-binary like this is not normal that we have such a spike in children deciding that they're not what they are and that they feel like they have the right to just do whatever they want because their truth is the only truth, apparently. And for this organization to go and say this kind of thing is wild to me as well. And for uh, a former premier and education minister, Kathleen Wynne, thank you so much for joining us. This is uh, a Kathleen, bad angle. I'm curious to get your take on this situation. Do you feel that schools should be revealing the information to the parents that if the if a student wants to identify a, as a different uh, gender so what does Jamie, that even my mean concern is that um this policy could put children at risk um no. as p flag has said uh if a child is not ready to tell a parent that he or she is thinking about who he or she is um, who they are um, then you could put that child at risk by disclosing that in a form letter to uh, a parent. And, you know, for some kids, school is the safest place in their lives um, because home is not safe, because parents are homophobic or transphobic and the, the children... Wow, so this lady is actually saying that parents, children are more at risk at home because their parents are unsafe. Is this the world that we've come to? Sure, there are some shit parents out there, 
But in 2023, I don't think there's ever going to be a parent that's going to disown a child or this and that if they're just open and honest with you. To me, school would be the last place that would be safe. The amount of bullying that probably happens, teasing, all that kind of stuff. Maybe nowadays you have a small little group that's like you and in all these like little weird trends and identities that you focus on. But there's no way that you can tell me that school would be safer than at home. I just fail to see it. And again, if some children are dealing with that, then I understand that. But that's not enough to make this a blanket statement that all children should have this power and and the parents don't have any rights. I know that. So I really think that this is a wrong-headed policy. And I, I think it, uh, it could put children at risk. I'm very worried about it. Well, the, the poll found that the overwhelming majority, almost 80 percent, believe parents should be informed if their child wants to choose a different identity. No, duh. It's the, it's the consent issue, where it, which is really divisive. Do you think it's unreasonable that parents uh, of someone who's in grade one, two or three or, or, or older or younger, um, if they choose to identify, do you feel it's unreasonable for the parents to be notified uh, about that major, this is a, a major decision that could potentially impact the rest of their life? Well, yeah, that's that's true. But, um, but it also could be a child trying something on. It could be, um, you know, it, it could be something that the, the child has just heard. It exactly my point it's experimental we don't know like this is just a whim this is again following the trends the wind blows this way the one day i feel like a girl the wind blows this way the next day oh i feel like a boy again like this is mental gymnastics on such a nonsense topic but kids don't have the power to consent or the ability to consent even before a certain age you're talking about a first second and third grader not requiring consent from their parents i don't like where where are we right now who knows it could be a child searching for who they really are and if that's who they really are by the parents and the school discloses that to the parents then that child could be put at risk that's my concern jamie and so um there are lots of things that parents don't know about their children. I was, you know, I was <laughs> thinking about my own life, you know, would I, would I have wanted um, a letter to go home from the school to, uh, to say to my parents, you know, your, your daughter is really disrupting the class because she's expressing very feminist views and she's being a problem. Actually, yes, I would. As a parent, I would want to know that my child is being disruptive in a classroom and causing problems then i could sit down and talk to my child about such things to have them not be a problem in the classroom or disrupting for everybody else and your feminist views is completely different than gender ideology or hiding something from your parents like I'm a boy at home and I'm a girl at school or I'm a girl at home and I'm a boy at school or I'm a cat here or a dog. Like, what are we talking about? Also, when you were growing up, parents weren't as involved in their kids' lives as they are in today's day and age. So uh, the fact that you're saying like, oh, a lot of parents don't know what their kids are doing, to me sounds a little out of touch. There are lots of things we do at school. We are we're discovering who we are and we need to have that opportunity no no you're not you're being taught reading writing uh, math science that's what you're doing you're not there to discover anything you're there to learn <laughs> like what is she talking about it's not some summer camp where you you figure out if you like boys this this weekend or if you like girls or you know, uh, if you like archery, if you like uh, skipping rocks, like that's, it's not summer camp, it's school. You're there to get educated. As human beings. So I, I think it's a very dangerous path. And I don't think, I really don't think this is about safety of the kids. Yet 80% disagree with you. Worried about. I think they are pandering 
to a particular portion of the population who hasn't really thought through what is going on with these kids, whatever age. 80% of the people that took this poll are not aware of, you know, this, they're out of touch kind of thing. And she's talking about pandering to a specific type of person. She was part of the Liberal Party. I'm guessing she's trying to hint at the Conservative Party. Were they the only ones that took this uh, this survey? Were they the majority of the survey? I highly doubt it. Not a lot of I don't think a lot of conservatives are tuned into CP24 if they're the ones that are doing this poll. But hey, I could be wrong. Well, well, for for many parents and I'm sure many doctors and experts, they'll they'll agree that you know most kids who are very very young haven't reached the age of maturity to decide whether yeah. or not they are a different gender. No duh. I know you took straight aim at, at the uh, the education minister earlier today and uh, conservative leader Pierre Polyev and essentially saying that they are, they're either politically pandering on this issue or that they're transphobe and homophobes. Do you think that the education minister and Pierre That's Polyev crazy. are transphobe or homophobic? I don't know, but if they bring in this policy then they are basically supporting a policy that is transphobic, that is homophobic, and is dangerous to kids. Um, you know, we've been working for 50 years, more than 50 years in this province, to create schools that are safe places for all children. And this would roll back the clock oh. and deny the right of children to be who they are at school. And I, you know, I, of course, if a, a parent has a, a child who's, uh, who's young and they're worried about they're worried about them. Then they want to talk to the school, but that's not what this is about. This is about um, this is about outing children in a very unsafe way. There are current policies right now within the TDSB that if a child um, that a school should never disclose a student's gender nonconformity or transgender status uh, to the student's parents without the student's explicit prior consent. That is wild to me that that is currently established in the TDSB. Again, I don't understand how any of these kids have this much power or autonomy uh, to not be able to have their parents involved in what's going on with them at school. Like, this is just crazy talk. Are, are, is that policy not enough? Because I'm just going back to the numbers here that 80% surveyed want to feel that they should be informed uh, if their child chooses to change their gender identity or their pronouns. That's an overwhelming number here. Yeah, and, and Jamie, I think there are lots of things that we as parents, and I've been a parent of three kids, uh, one gay son, uh, parent of grandchildren, grand, grandparents, so I know that we want to know everything about our children. I understand that. But we don't get to know everything about our children. Even now, there are things about what? what our children do at school that we don't know about, and that's okay. Obviously, no, that's if a not okay. Believes that a child is in danger if they are if they are being bullied or there's something going on. Obviously, that needs to be a conversation between the teacher and the family, where there's a relationship. It doesn't have to be a disclosure of exactly what the the child is doing. So I think the relationship is important. Um, it's ladies that because 80 percent of people want you know think that this would be a good idea it may or may not be a good idea and we have to make sure that we're protecting the children in the school that's got to be the primary goal and i don't think that's what minister lecce and pierre Polly ever are worried about kathleen when we appreciate your time thanks for no we don't appreciate your time holy moly what a wild video like I, I gotta downvote that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, but anyways, love to hear from you guys. Uh, this is a, like I said, crazy story coming out just recently today, and uh, yeah, not a lot of views, under five thousand views as of now. But um, yeah, as always, I will catch you guys on the next one. Wild.